Welcome back to Kelly Party of Two. We are at Long John Silver's. They have two new items. Damn, she's excited, ain't she? You are making some major noise so I have to be loud. So we have their... Coconut popcorn shrimp. And their... And cheese bites. They're cheese curds, but Long John Silver's is calling them cheese bites, to be their fancy. They're Wisconsin white cheddar cheese bites. Lightly coated in a homestyle breading, fried until golden for a perfect cheese pull. We will test that. And... Popable flavor adventure. Who gets cheese what? pull from cheese curds? If you're biting a cheese curd in half instead of putting the whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> Good point. Anyway. I know someone who would do that, though. I do, too. So, anyway, coconut popcorn shrimp features crispy, sustainably sourced morsels of hand-battered shrimp. That is a sustainably sourced <laughs> morsel. Combined with a touch of sweetness. I really want... I I'm want to a, be the person that writes this. I'm a huge fan of coconut shrimp. All right, so we're going in. Mmm. 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 That is good. And it's just enough coconut. Sometimes coconut shrimp can be a little too overpowering with the coconut. What are you thinking there, Chief? Apparently her excitement has ended because she can't speak. I'm on the fence. High maintenance. I'm going a little cocktail sauce. Now, Long John Silver's... Oh. <laughs> Red Lobster has a really good um, like coconut dipping sauce for their coconut shrimp. Oh, yeah. It's so good. I would like Red Lobster... Or, Shit. Really I would like Long John Silver's to have something like that because I really don't like dipping coconut shrimp. Can you see the coconut? Into oh, cocktail sauce. I mean, they ain't lying. I already showed them one, dude. Poke your eye out with a coconut shrimp. Mm. I agree that it's not too much coconut flavor. It's really good in a cocktail sauce. She don't like since, cocktail sauce. How weird is that? Since, she likes circus peanuts. She don't like cocktail sauce. So, since you brought up Red Lobster, so every time we go to Red Lobster, my go to is their popcorn shrimp. Love it. Because she's like an eight-year-old. Anyway, I like this. I think it's good. Um, and just so you know, I'm not picking on her. She's been running her mouth and talking shit to me all day. <laughs> He's lying. He's lying to you. Um, so I do like it. There, You cannot get past the coconut flavor. I will you say You don't want to get past it. You ordered will it. Will you <laughs> let me finish? I'm trying to be descriptive. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Coconut shrimp would not be my first option for shrimp. However, this is good. It's mild. It's got just enough sweetness to it. Um, but I would not order it again. I would absolutely order it again. It's crispy. It's crunchy. But the you're a shrimp, coconut shrimp fan. The shrimp is cooked perfect. That's true. Okay. You wrap up your shrimp. So you I wouldn't eat it by itself. The cocktail sauce makes it great. I'm checking the I'm checking the cheese at bite. All right. Pull. I'm doing it. I'm taking a bite. All right, cheese curd then. <laughs> Looks like your standard cheese curd. Cheese mm, <laughs> It's a good cheese curd. Mm-hmm. That's solid. It's very good cheese curd. Mm-hmm. Your batter, breading to cheese ratio, spot on. Not too much of either, just enough. There was a cheese pull. Um, cheese curds can be tricky mm -hmm. because sometimes they can be hard mm -hmm. and like chewy, where because the cheese isn't really melted. If you've ever had a real cheese curd that's not breaded, you know it's just like little hard pieces of squeaky cheese that squeak when you bite when you bite them. So cheese curds can be tricky. These are perfect. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying they're like the best perfect cheese curds in the world. I'm saying they're cooked perfect. Mm -hmm. Texture's perfect. They're good. Good flavor. Definitely a Wisconsin kind of. I could eat a whole lot of these. Mm -hmm. Those would be easy to finish off quickly. More places should have cheese curds over cheese sticks. Yeah, the ratio is better. I mean, I like a good mozzarella cheese stick. And, you know, you definitely get a cheese pool with mozzarella cheese sticks. But, 
I think that's too much cheese I to think batter. I think as far as an appetizer goes, I think cheese curds make more sense. Now. Have you ever made cheese curds? No. Maybe we should try. Maybe. He's enjoying his cheese curds and coconut popcorn shrimp. Basically, I'm enjoying my lunch. So, if you like coconut shrimp, you'll like these. Um, yeah, you, you, if, if you, you, you like coconut shrimp, you will like these. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and even if you're not sure if you like it or not, um, definitely try it. Like and I it's said, a, it's a big order. You get a lot. Mm hmm. It's not um it's not an overpowering coconut flavor. It's not overpowering sweetness. I'm shocked at how many it's we got. It's just a hint. Yeah. It's how much was that? Um, hang on. We didn't get a meal, we just got an order of them. Um That can't be right. Two ninety nine? It was two ninety nine. The cheese bites. Right? The cheese bites were four forty nine. Yeah, because we That's got what, we got the coconut. I mean, look at the difference in the in the containers. <clears throat> Hang on, comparison time. Cheese curds. Look at that. <clears throat> two. What was I say? Two forty nine. Two ninety nine. Four forty nine. Yeah, I'm going. Oh, Wisconsin <clears throat> cheese must be expensive. <laughs> for for two ninety nine, you need to take your family to four. Yeah. To Lone John Silver's tonight and just get four orders of these and you got dinner for like twelve bucks. Absolutely. That's a great price. Very friendly, by the way. They were very friendly. Um, they were at, they were on uh, cook to order, so all of our food was hot and yummy. I'm going to have another cheese curd. And I don't mind that. Uh -uh, no, of course not. I would rather go to a fast food restaurant <clears throat> and them not cook it until I order it, it all day. versus getting one that you know has been under that damn heat lamp for four hours that... You know, Karen made. She's already clocked out and went home, and it's still there waiting on you. Why, Karen? <laughs> Judy. No. I highly doubt there's a Karen or a Judy working the fast food, unless they're management. You're crazy. You think? Yeah. <clears throat> Katrina. <laughs> we we have a. Uh... We have some random conversations in our in our relationship. Joan. <laughs> okay. Joyce. Are you done? I mean, not with your lunch, but with your name. Linda. <laughs> Stop. Mark. There's always a okay. mark. There's always a mark. <laughs> if you have tried either of these, please let us know in the comments below. If you plan to try them, let us know what you think. I'm getting full. Like, subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.